All right, hey guys, so I've got some people that I personally wanted to thank today uh, who gifted me some stuff recently, some of which I met in person at PAX Prime and some of which who gifted me this stuff through the mail. So I wanted to make this video to let them know that I truly do appreciate it and I wanted to thank them properly in a video. So let's get started here with the first package that I really owe this person a big thank you to because I told them uh, that I definitely wanted to show this off in a video and really thank them for it because I really appreciate this. This is from PipwupFan77 and he says, To Pete, hey man, hope you enjoy my drawings. Sorry if, it took, if, if you look a little weird in them. I love watching your videos, especially your reviews on Sonic Collectible Reviews. I'm also a huge fan of Sonic, as I probably already knew. Keep up the amazing work and awesome reviews. And that is from Steven Piplup Fan 77 So he told me that he had some drawings he wanted to do for me, and he wanted to send them my way. So first, let me show you the larger one here. And uh, how awesome is that? <laughs> it's a drawing of me with Sonic. And if you look closely there, you can see that my foot in Sonic style is on top of one of the TV monitors from inside the games, and it says Pete's Game Room on it. I thought that was one of the coolest things, and right there I'm wearing a Sega Genesis t-shirt. I thought that was the coolest thing when I pulled it out of the envelope, but the one that I like even more is this one. This one is hilarious. It is Super Sonic laughing at me for turning Super Sonic with my hair. I thought that was really awesome. So Steven, thanks again for drawing these for me. I really do appreciate it, the time that you took to create these and send them my way. I'm definitely going to hold on to these forever, and I really do appreciate it. Definitely, guys, if you're a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog, especially if you're into collecting Sonic the Hedgehog, be sure to check out his channel. I'm definitely subscribed to it on my Sonic Collectible re Review channel as well. The next person i got to thank is Vlad, also known as Video Games Pew Pew here on YouTube, and he sent me an awesome gift that I did not see coming at all. Here's the note that he enclosed with it, and it is... Hey Pete, surprise, here is a sealed copy of your favorite game, Eco. I already own an open copy, so I don't have much use for a sealed version, and I know you own two copies of the game, so here's a third. Anyway, keep up the great work. You inspired me to make my own videos. Vlad, video games, pew pew. So, yes indeed, he did send me a sealed copy of Eco on the PlayStation 2. And this is actually my fourth copy of Eco. I have two open copies, and this is my second sealed copy. Uh, the other one was courtesy of my good friend Splatter Trigger. So Vlad, thank you so much for adding yet another Eco to my collection. I actually plan on hoarding copies of Eco. Um, Any one that I come across for a reasonable price, I'm definitely going to be holding on to, and I've got to get all the different regions and versions from PAL and Japan and whatnot. So eventually one day I'll have them all sealed and unsealed. But this is a really great condition copy of Eco. There's really I don't see any tears in the plastic. Uh, it's great condition and these are not cheap by any means so this is this is quite the gift Vlad really I appreciate it it's even got the hang tag still intact in the back there of course the US box art of Eco is just hideous I much prefer the Japanese and European PAL version cover much more than the US version that's for sure but thank you Vlad once again okay next up is someone who wants to remain anonymous and after this package I think I might know why uh, but they were the ones that sent me some of the import games in my last uh, video where I showed off some trades I did and stuff with people. Um, let me show you the first game here. And when I first pulled this out of the box, I was like, okay, all right. And that is this. And for those of you that listen to the All Gen Gamers podcast that I'm on, uh, we actually had quite a big discussion on this week's episode, episode 59, about this game here. It's for the PSP. It's a UMD video, but it's an interactive game. You can even see here in the bottom it says game. It's a game from Japan, and uh, the focus probably won't be too great to see the back detail here. But it's called, it is translated, we did some research on the show, because we were fascinated by this game. It's called English Cram School. And apparently it's, it's a, these are like school teachers or something. And you play rock, paper, scissors with them. And I'll let you fill in the rest. You can listen to the podcast and you can hear us talk about this game for 10 or 15 minutes. And yeah, it's English Cram School for the PSP. Thank you, anonymous person. You know who you are. I could see why you wanted to remain anonymous. <laughs> and he also sent me, to go along with that, a couple more imports. I don't know the name, but I can make out some English lettering on here. It's for the PS1 EG. And it appears to be a brawler. Um, 
side-scrolling beat-em-up. I don't know too much about this, but if any of you have ever played this or can tell me anything about it, be sure to let me know. And the last game he sent me was also K1 Fighting Illusion Revenge, another import for the PlayStation 1. So thank you, Mr. Anonymous. You know who you are, and definitely thank you for English Cram School. And speaking of the Algin Gamers podcast, on the episode where we were talking about English Cram School, we had on special guest Retro Snow, also known as Bracey, also known as SnowCon3 here on YouTube. He's a great guy with an awesome channel. Definitely, if you're into retro games, I'd highly recommend it. But we got onto the discussion of Raiden Fighters, because when I went to PAX and I hung out at the Gameworks there, probably my one of my most played games at the Gameworks arcade out there was Raiden Fighters, uh, the arcade machine. So Bracey was kind enough to say, hey, I got a copy of Raiden 4 for the Xbox 360 that has a scratch on it. Um, I can take it down to my local play and trade, get it surfaced, and send it out to you. So they got he got a surface for me, got it working, and sent it my way. But not only that, Bracey was so awesome as to notice a copy of Raiden Fighters Aces while he was at play and trade, and he had some play and trade credit, and he picked this up for me as well. And this has Raiden Fighters one, two, and three. And this is a this is a pretty rare game out here in the states. I've actually never seen this at the Game Stops around by me or anything. I haven't had a chance to play Raiden Fighters Aces yet, but that's probably because I'm in love with Raiden 4 so much. This game is amazing. I love the weapon power-ups in this game. It's just the right degree of challenge where it's not overly frustrating, but it's just really a lot of fun. I'll get around to definitely trying out Raiden Fighters Aces pretty soon, but once again, Bracey, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate this because I was craving and getting ready to buy both of these games, and this one's definitely not easy to find, so thank you very much. All right, so the next gift is from one of my good friends here on YouTube, Tony Yippy, And he recently, a couple of months ago, went to Summer of Sonic 2011, which I was extremely jealous of. It only takes place in the UK, and this year was very special because it was Sonic's 20th anniversary. And he went down there, and Yuji Naka was down there and whatnot, Takashi Izuka. It was a huge, huge gathering, and it, was, it would have been amazing to go to, to as a Sonic the Hedgehog fan. Uh, but he was kind enough to send me a piece of swag from there, and that was the exclusive shirt that they were giving away uh, at Summer of Sonic, and here it is. It's pretty simple. It's a very simple line drawing, as you can see there, of Sonic. It's as simple as they get. I thought it was really unique and different, and it just has their logo on the back here. But I appreciated it because supposedly these ran out very quickly, and there were a lot of fans there that didn't get a shirt. So sorry to one of you out there that might have missed out on one of these shirts. It is in my possession now, thanks to Tony. And he also sent me, because he knows how much of a fan I am of this game, uh, down in the UK, he picked this up from one of the local game shops, and that is a Child of Eden t-shirt. It's very abstract, um, a little bit hard to see the logo right down there in the corner, but it's got a scene uh, depicting some of the aquatic life that's in Child of Eden, along with the small little logo down there. So Tony, definitely... I really do appreciate it, especially going out of your way to get me a, get yourself a second one of those shirts and sending it down to me. I really appreciate it. Okay, so next I just wanted to move into some of the gifts that I received from people that I met down at PAX. The first of which is from Tony, who I met outside. You guys probably saw him in my video uh, at our YouTube community meetup in the front of the convention center. But Tony surprised me with one of the coolest things I saw at the show. Not only that, but he gave it to me for free. And that is this official... The first ever official, from what I know, uh, Eco t-shirt that Sony was giving away at their booth uh, for like a split second, and they ran out very quickly. There was a limited number of these produced at the show. I had no idea they were going to be there, but he gave it to me, and that is this amazing shirt here. It's got the Eco logo on the back, and then on the front it says, Never Let Go, with the iconic image of Eco pulling Yorda. And I was just blown away because I had no idea the shirt was going to be there. And I was so grateful. Um, especially a big thank you also to Jason, who was outside and getting ready to give me the shirt as well. But Tony beat him to it. But Jason, you got to hold on to your shirt uh, for sure. But thank you anyway, Jason. Um, and big thank you to Tony. And they were giving away a Shadow of the Colossus shirt down there as well, which I must have missed because I went down there the next day to try and get that. And they were out of them already. So eventually I'll get that shirt on eBay or something. But thank you once again, Tony. I really appreciate it. I've got a great eco shirt to go along with my own eco shirt as well. Okay, and next up I have to thank Joseph, who I met at the Cheesecake Factory YouTube meetup that we had there. 
Um, I didn't record any footage of that, but if you guys search around on YouTube, others did record footage, such as the Happy Console Gamer has a video up of that. But here is a Sonic Adventure gel pen set that Joseph gave me, and I know of this set. It's actually really rare, especially to get in the box. I very rarely see these on eBay, but it's a really awesome pen set that got the characters sitting on top of gel pens, and on the back they depict some of the other items from this same line. But Je Joseph, thank you so much. It was great meeting to you. Great talking to you. And definitely be sure to let me know when you start up that channel. I'm definitely really interested in checking it out. Thank you so much for the pen set. All right, and next I have to thank Ryan, who hooked me up with a very fond childhood memory of mine. Some of you, I know I've mentioned this before. I'm not sure what video it was or whatnot, but uh, some of you might remember me mentioning my Ice Blue Limited Edition Game Boy Pocket that was stolen from me in middle school in the lunchroom. Well with my copy of Pokemon. But Ryan was nice enough to bring me down. He found that exact same Game Boy Color. He hooked me up with the limited edition Ice Blue Game Boy Pocket. Unfortunately, it is missing the battery cover, but really, it's the thought that counts and actually owning one of these again, it really means a lot to me. It's so funny. I've This this was my first handheld system uh, back then, and I had I love this thing with my copy of Pokemon and whatnot. When, I, when it got stolen from me, I was devastated. And it was one of the more limited uh, colors of the Game Boy Pocket. So, Ryan, thank you so much for that. I definitely do appreciate it. He also hooked me up with a Sonic the Hedgehog beanbag hacky sack, which you get as a prize from the Gameworks down there. This is something I don't own for Sonic the Hedgehog, which I have a lot of Sonic the Hedgehog stuff, so it's actually really hard to get me something that I don't own. Um, he also hooked me up with a... Game, uh, it was a Sonic the Hedgehog card with tails on it that they were giving away. I believe he said it's uh, Comic Con or one of the Paxers or something. But I, I misplaced it. I can't find what I did with it. But Ryan, just to let you know, thank you so okay, much. Next I... is from Rob Man. Those of you that watch the Happy Console Gamer Show, you guys definitely know of Rob. He's a diehard Mega Man fan, and he knows that I'm a diehard Sonic the Hedgehog fan. So he hooked me up big with some Sonic the Hedgehog items. First is something that I did own, and that is this Sonic Chronicles: The Dark Brotherhood stylus set. Uh, brand new in the package, which now I plan on maybe opening one up and then keeping one sealed, so thank you for that, Rob. And next up is a Sonic the Hedgehog RC car, brand new in the box. And a lot of people get mad when they see Sonic in a car because they're like, Sonic runs so fast, why does he need a car? Well, who the heck knows, but Rob, thanks so much for this. I definitely do appreciate it. It's also, once again, something that I didn't own. Uh, they've just been releasing so much brand new Sonic the Hedgehog merch li lately. It's so hard to keep up with it. Um, and last here is, this was really interesting. Um, now, now I'm just now I'm forgetting the exact country he said this was from. It's not your typical country that you normally see stuff out of. So it wasn't like the UK or Australia or anything like that. Uh, this was from some like crazy country. I was like, wow, really? And he's like, yeah, I got it. You know, blah blah blah. I couldn't believe it. Um, I'm sure he'll correct me in the comments section below, and I'll definitely be able to sh put an annotation down below when I figure out what country it was from again, but it's a Sonic the Hedgehog poster, and I don't own any kind of version of this Sonic poster. But anyway, Rob, thanks so much for the Sonic the Hedgehog gifts, and it was really awesome meeting you in person finally as well. All right, and I've saved the biggest one for last. Uh, let me just read the note here for you guys. He goes, hey, Pete. I'm Alex from Australia. I've been a longtime fan of the show. Please keep up the good work, and here's the package to say thank you. Alex from Sydney, Australia. Um, Alex, I definitely, I know who Alex is. He's actually been following my show since the beginning. It's funny because he sent me a message. He's like, hey, Pete, you don't really, I don't think you know who I am, but I really appreciate the show. I wanted to send you something, whatnot. I'm like, oh, of course I know who you are. You've been supporting my show since the beginning. I know he's been leaving comments. I know these things. If you, I know who's been there since the beginning, and I definitely appreciate it. Alex, this package is incredible. Um, and especially, I, I hate to say how much he paid, but since he told me to just refer to him as his first name, I, I think I'll go ahead and tell you guys how much he paid to ship this to me. Because I think it's unbelievable that somebody would spend this much to send me something for free. You know, it's, it, it, I really appreciate it. And, uh, I told him, I warned him, I'm like, Alex, listen, I know shipping from Australia to the U.S. is quite expensive. Are you sure you want to do this? He's like, I'm sure. He paid $80 to send this to me. I mean, that is, I, I don't, please, I mean, people from Australia, don't, please, don't send me stuff, because that is just ridiculous. The shipping rates right now are crazy. Um, but I, I really appreciate it, and I just had to share what you sent me in here, because everything is you definitely know what I'm into, let me just say that. <laughs> Everything in here is definitely right up my alley. So, first of all, let's start with the first thing I can grab. And that is a Star Wars Tales book. 
Uh, this book here is a graphic novel, full color. Definitely, this arrived to me at the right time, Alex, because I just recently bought the Star Wars Blu-ray set as well, which I just got done watching the original trilogy, and they look amazing. So thank you for that book. Here is an awesome poster. Hopefully I'm going to be able to find room for this. But it is a gigantic promotional poster for one of the best original games on the original Xbox. And that is, oh boy, this thing is big. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. This thing is huge. And Alex, definitely, thank you so much. I am a huge fan of the original Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, next up we have a Nintendo-themed Wii Remote cover uh, set with Mario, Donkey Kong, Zelda, and Metroid. It's lenticular, so it kind of moves when you shift it around. That's really awesome. Uh, we also have... A Darkness 2 poster. This is a game that I'm actually quite interested in. I was actually a huge fan of the original Darkness. I thought that was a really fun game. You know, it was just different enough to kind of differentiate itself from your typical first-person shooter. And next he sent me a couple of anime DVDs. He sent me a Nojiga Valley of the Wind DVD. Uh, this here is, I, I'm assuming this is the Australian edition of it. I'm a huge fan of Ghibli. Nojiga is definitely one of my top favorites. So it's great to add this to my Studio Ghibli collection. And he also sent me a copy of Gantz. Um, I've never heard or seen this anime before, but he said if I'm into grotesque kind of horror-themed anime, this is definitely one to check Next out. Next up is a Sonic the Hedgehog adventure game book, Metal City Mayhem. I actually have a couple of these Sonics books, and I don't own this one. It's little novelizations meant for kids. Um, I've never actually read through one. I had some when I was younger, but I had more of like the game book ones with mazes and stuff like that that you'd color in. Um, next are a couple of games, and this is Kingsfield 4. He knows that I was really interested in the Kingsfield series because I've mentioned it recently, and now I have a copy of Kingsfield 4. Um, this is from the developers of Demon's Souls from software. So I've just got to get like a swap disc, something like that, to play a PAL game in my USPS2. And he also sent me the uh, PAL version of Fantavision on the PS2. Really interesting cover. I actually kind of like it a little bit more than the American version. But thank you for that. That's definitely one of my underrated gems for the PS2, one of my favorites. And a copy of a Sonic game I don't actually own already, and that is Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Sega Master System. Um, I've only played this on the Sonic like Gems collections that they put out on the GameCube and PS2 and whatnot, so it's really great to finally own an actual physical copy of this on the Sega Master System. And this here was really awesome, because I went to the Nintendo World... 25th anniversary Mario celebration, and apparently I guess he went there too. I remember him mentioning something like that to me. Um, I guess we just didn't run into one another. But in order to get one of these shirts, you had to wait in a long line and get your picture taken in like a Mario theme. So I was like, all right, I don't really feel like waiting in line for that. Um, but he got the shirt, and it's an extra large, so he said it was a bit too large for him, so he sent it my way. So this is a really pretty rare shirt, because this is the only event you can get it at, and that was the only way to get it, was to wait in line and take a picture. So I got the shirt now. It's a cool little shirt depicting Mario uh, on the front there, doing his little walk and jump. And then the 25th anniversary emblem on the back there. So that really took me by surprise, and it meant a lot, because I really wanted one of these shirts, too. He also sent me a little figure of, it looks like Aragorn from Lord of the Rings. He wasn't quite sure, but it definitely looks like a Lord of the Rings figure. I don't know if you guys can see that in there. And lastly, this here, I'm like, what is this, an N64? Uh, but it's actually an Arco uh, Famicom clone system, apparently. Um, it resembles an N64, but it's one of those clone systems where you can pop a, a Famicom Clark carton here and be able to play it. So I just got to get a power supply, it seems, and just pop in any old audiovisual cable. And it looks like it just, yeah, it takes a standard controller slot right there in the front. So once again, Alex, thank you so much for that. I really, really appreciate it. But once again, guys, I just wanted to thank all of you personally in this video because it really means a lot to me, and I truly, really do appreciate it. And it was really great meeting all of you that I met down at PAX. And for those of you that sent me in the mail, I hope this video is enough to show my gratitude. I really appreciate it. And guys, thank you so much for watching. And I just wanted to leave off this video to say to you that uh, I'm not done with my PAX videos. I've actually got a PAX pickups video coming uh, which I'm going to show you guys all the little swag and things that I picked up from PAX, as well as um, a video where I'm going to show off some of my favorite games of PAX. I have not edited either of these together yet, so whichever one you'd want to see first, 
leave a comment below. Uh, just let me know, do you want to see the swag video first, or do you want to see the top games video first? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all of your support, and I'll see you all soon.